What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and actually I'll probably be doing some smelting today. I will probably just be getting some random things done. I think that's mostly what I want to accomplish here. We have 17 coal so we can absolutely do it if we really really want to. We can sit around smelting all day if we like. We can smelt if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. Because, I don't know, anybody have that thing where like your friends friends? You go to a party and your friends friends are there and so they're like second generation friends and you're like, mm, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. I've known your boy for a long time and he and I go back like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure about you though. He and I go back. Mm, I'm not, I don't know about you. And then they're like, mm, I don't know about you either. He and I go back too. And you're like, man, we just have a triangle with issues right now, don't we? We just have a triangle with issues. I'll probably take that out. I'll probably sell a bunch of the stuff that I have in here just for a little bit of extra spending cash along the way. Might be worth it to take some of our... Well, let me get the frozen tears. I don't know what I need most of these frozen tears for anyways. We did get a new crafting recipe last night when I slept. It's the Ring of Yoba, and it's actually pretty good. It occasionally shields the wearer from damage. We could also do the Sturdy Ring or the Warrior's Ring, which might be what I was saving all my stuff for, but the Ring of Yoba actually seems like it'd be pretty easy to make. I think that for sure I could probably make one of those right now, five and five. That wouldn't be hard to bring around. I think I have the supplies for it, so let's go ahead and grab all of our stacks out of here to make sure that I'm stacking things up properly. Everything else is looking good. I'm going to put the Pine Tar in there just so I have a small supply of it for later, just in case. I may also rearrange one of these chests to be specifically for gemstones and nothing else along the way because it seems like that might help out a tad. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'll lean towards and that'll allow me to use my adventure chest a little bit more effectively. Gemstones, come with me gemstones to my chest. When people said that that voice that I do reminds him of that lady from Cowboy Bebop. Who's like the leader of that animal terrorist group that wants to turn everybody into monkeys. I don't know. I'm like, that's, a, that's a pretty good reference. Alright, that's it. Fist bump. It's solid reference. You got it. Alright, I'll give it to you. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. I'm going to give it to you so good. I am going to... I'm a master of the fist bumpery. Like, for real. Although I don't like it when you come up on somebody and they don't know what to do. See, I always slap it and then I tap it. You slap it and then you pound it every single time. You come across, slap it, pound it. And I try to ingrain that into all my friends' memories. I don't mix it up. If they come in for the handshake, I slap it, then I pound it. No matter what, slap it and pound it. And, like, I think about half of them have caught on with it 100%. Because I just got tired of that ambiguity where nobody can decide how they want to shake hands when they first meet. So I'm going with slap and pound now. I'm going with slap and pound. And people can get on board with it or they can get run over by it. But either way, we're doing the slap and pound. I will probably take... That all looks good right there. We got all of our random geodes down here. Don't know if those are going to be of any use anytime soon. Eh. What does eggplant juice do? Is it good for me? It's got 75 energy, huh? I guess I'll throw that in the fridge. It can be my only beverage. The sweet gem berry is apparently really, really valuable. I think it's worth like 6,000 gold or something like that. Somebody had mentioned on the way by. What do we get if we put corn in there? We get whiskey? I'm gonna throw some corn in here and see if we get whiskey out. I'd like to make a few more kegs. What would those cost me to make? Because we've got loads and loads of stuff that I could purify over the course of the coming weeks. It takes a copper bar, it takes oak resin, it takes wood, it takes clay. Oak resin is going to be the big limiting reagent right there because I don't think I have any. Oak resin is one of those things that has eluded me so far, and I don't have, like, an area where I can farm it out nice and good. And so I'm thinking it's going to be one of those long-term projects that I don't work on very often. It's just every now and again, I'll get, like, an oak resin and I'll have to do something with it. Let's milk some cows. I don't know which cow I just... No, I wanted that one right there. It can be hard to tell which cow you milked sometimes. Oh, good. We got our big we got our big milks again. That'll be nice. I don't know if I'm still going to convert it into more cheese or whatever else. But it'll work for right now. We'll drop all that off so that our cows don't go hungry. Cows, how you feeling today? How you doing? You're only one month old and you've already got a half a heart. I think that's because it auto-pets them whenever I milk them. And so it makes it a little bit easier than with the chickens, which I have to walk around and actually stroke the chickens. Yes, I know. Stroke the chicken. Make make your joke. Get it out of your system. It's fine. 
Chickens appear to be kind of grumpy with me right now. I don't know why. I've been feeding them every single day. There. Did I forget to feed them yesterday? Must have forgot to feed them yesterday. Can they even go out in the winter? Is that even an option? I doubt that they go out in the winter. Alright, apparently I screwed up my hearts with all of my chickens right there. I... Not a good chicken master. It's fine. I never desired to be a chicken master. Like, when I woke up in this life, I at no point did I sit down and think to myself, you know what I'd want to be? A chicken master. A 12th level chicken master. Damn it, you guys. Alright, I'll chop from the bottom so that it'll go to the right. I know for a fact it always goes to the right if you chop from the bottom. Wasn't thinking before I started that one right there. It might be a good time for us to start building extra expansions out to our little kingdom as well. But, I don't know what I want to do with today's time. I know that I need to do some smelting, so I'll probably get on top of that as soon as possible. We don't have a lot of copper ore, though. So, unfortunately... Hmm. Well, this is done up here. That means I can make another keg. Basically, I'll probably use the proceeds of that oak resin right there to make a keg every single time it comes up. And then we'll worry about other projects as time goes along. So what do I need? I need an iron bar. I need clay. I have clay right here inside. And we'll make a second distillery barrel so that we can start making our own little brewery. That'd be a badass job. That'd be a super badass job to own a distillery and make, like, whiskey or something like that. I would assume that the problem is the startup costs and the know-how. You have to have, like, investor knowledge to know how to do that. I'm sorry, not investor knowledge. But you have to have, like, industry knowledge in, in order to know how to get something like that started. It's a tough one. I will probably continue with the corn just to see what pops out. We got maple syrup right there, too. Okay. This is a gold star corn, though, so something good better come out of this side if we want it to work out. I wish we actually had a storage building where I could do some of this stuff a little bit easier. Like, I wish you could just make an empty building that wasn't for anything so that I would have, like, the keg building, and that would just be full of kegs, and I would have, like, the bee house building, and then I would have the refining building, which would have these and the cheese makers and a bunch of other random stuff inside of it. I'm not a giant fan of our organization right now, namely because there isn't a whole lot of organization at all. Throw those in there. I don't really have much of that ore left, so I'll probably leave it alone for right now. Nothing on the weather. Mm. What does it take me to make one of these preserve jars? It takes coal. So we need stone and we need coal. I'm going to go break my geodes real fast and see what comes out of those before we go any further into this little daily adventure. But, before I do that, let's drop off a whole bunch of the random things that fall off of our enemies. Let's get another mayo pump going. Perfect. And as we walk through town, I'm going to do my best to give people the mayo as I see them. I'm also going to check for forageables, because they are super valuable in this season. You get almost 100 bucks per forageable, so if you can find yourself a little bit of holly, and you choose not to use it on having a holly jolly Christmas, you can have a holly jolly wallet. If that's really what you want. Have a holly jolly wallet. It's never happened in Christmas ever. It's a season about consumerism and buying lots of shit. Let's see. Leia is in need of a purple mushroom. I will have to check and see if I have a purple mushroom before I do that. I think I have one. Well, let's go break our geodes. I'll take that quest if I have the purple mushroom because that's a pretty good payout. And I assume more than likely... It'll lead to a decent, because it's got a good payout, I bet it'll give us a decent amount of reputation with the individual, too. But I'm trying to do, like, one thing at a time here. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Oh. I forgot that. Okay, I can't break geodes until he gets done with our hoe, I guess. So let's go back to our house, then. We're just going to walk around and do nothing today. I'm going to be utterly useless all day long. We should probably also try to go get on the wizard's good side by giving him a few more various sundries. The problem is that it takes so long to walk over to his house. The wizard is so far away. You want some cheese, homie? Thanks, I really like this. Yay, we finally gave him a gift that he enjoyed. A gift that he didn't hate and make fun of us for with his ridiculous Goku hair. 
That's right, I can make fun of people right back. I'm pretty good at it. It is a talent that I've developed. Shit talking and insult comedy. So it requires the construction of a big barn, a big coop, a deluxe barn, a deluxe coop. Okay. So those unlock roundabouts the time that we get done working on other stuff. Crystal fruit in right there. I oh we got some holly on this side too. I'm just trying to earn money where I can get it at this point. We will have our fishing day. Our fishing day should provide us with a fat opportunity to make probably seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand gold in an afternoon one day. But up until winter's kind of a slim season, and unfortunately because I've been planting lots of different types of crops, I haven't been optimizing my cash. I know that bothers some people, but that's okay. It can bother them. Because I like diversification. Diversification is smart in a situation like this. I know some people won't believe me when I say it, but it totally is. On top of that, the choice is, do we go with the preserves jar right now? That's the other half of it. And I don't know the answer to that question. Preserves jar would be nice. Let's go down into the dungeon. Well, maybe it wouldn't be so cold, kitty, if you would go inside every now and again. But instead, you just chill outside the house next to that water dish over there all day. And you don't really seem to help me at all. Like, I'm not sure what your function is, kitty. But I hope you figure out what it is. We get leaves and bright red berries that are popular. Holly's poisonous. So are those other things. They're like the red, I forget what they're called. I should remember this. They're poisonous to cats. Linus is going over. I think he's about to go get himself a nice little bath dunk. But yeah. There's those... It starts with a P, I think. Oh, this is bugging me. I know this word. But anyways, that plant with the red leaves. It'll kill your cat. Don't get one if you have a cat. Because if they chew up plants... Your kitty might be off to kitty heaven sooner than you expected. It's one of those little warnings that nobody ever gives you. What is this over here? More aquamarine? I'll probably sell off most of the gemstones that I farmed during this excursion. Just because I've got so many of them laying around in my inventory right now that I don't think there's much of a point in holding on to many more of them. Perfect. The stone will be used right here for walls and brickwork and all that kind of stuff at our house so that I can make myself a few more stony cordons. Ow, bastard. Just trying to be down in the dungeon right now and be friendly and you're over here attacking me, making my life difficult. All I want to do is break a few of these crates and get some free hardwood from a dungeon because I don't want to pay the ridiculous extortionist prices that they have over at What's-Her-Name's place. She charges too much. I can't afford her stuff. It's too expensive. It's too expensive and it makes my life too difficult. Bunch of iron on this side though. Does ore sell for anything? I know we haven't sold a lot of raw ore or anything like ever during this playthrough because it's always useful for other things. But I kind of wonder. And I wonder if it'll sell. Another quartz right there for that refinement process, just in case we wanted to get the sprinklers a little bit more taken care of. I'll probably spend a day or two trying to clear out all that land on the west side of the field as well, so that when we go into our next farming season, we just have, like, endless space over there to use. Perfect. And we still haven't found... Oh, no, we got a ladder down. We got a ladder down right there. I apologize if this is not the most stimulating of seasons, but it is what it is. The winter season in this game is kind of iffy. It's actually one of the few points in the game that I've watched other people play, too, and I'm like, so what do you do during this season? It seems like most YouTubers just kind of, like, dither around during this season because there's not really much else to do. That'd be fine if I hadn't explored the dungeon already, but I've been pretty aggressive about exploring the dungeon, so unfortunately that's led to... A little bit of a lack of things to do. I mean, there's still stuff to do. It's just that most of it is farming or otherwise, like, trying to mash out things and grinding. Not a big fan of grinding. 
I got a friend who's playing Black Desert online right now, but people have told me that it's grindy, and so I haven't really gotten into it just yet. They sent an account over. Like, they sent me, a like, a premium Black Desert account. Like, that's just when you have, like, PR companies and stuff. If you ever do YouTube, eventually you'll end up hooked up with, like, dozens of PR companies, and they get paid just to give you free stuff. It's kind of a weird business to be in, and I wonder how they make money. I don't think they get paid to be on retainer, but their job is just to send free stuff out to YouTubers all day, every day. So that, like, hopefully it'll show up in a video somewhere. And then they'll generate a profit off of it by selling a whole bunch of copies once said YouTuber plays it on his channel after having gotten it for free. So anyways, they sent over, like, a free premium account for Black Desert, like a free premium press account that's set up for, like, 90 days or something like that. And I keep meaning to jump on and play with a friend, but I just don't have time for MMOs nowadays. That's my biggest issue, is that MMOs are a giant time sink. Unless you've got, like, three to four hours a day to play an MMO, there's no point doing it, because you're never going to go anywhere or, like, accomplish anything. And I'm one of those people that likes to be, like, top tier, you know what I mean? Like, I like to have, like, the best gear, and I like to be the guy that all the little kids in town are, like, inspecting and being like, Whoa, where did you get that ring? And I'd be like, I got it from balling through a dungeon. That's where I got it from. I got it from being too awesome. Blizzard contacted me and was like, Hey, we noticed that from our charts here that it looks like your awesome levels don't even fit on it. And we would like to give you free stuff in exchange for being so awesome on our game right now. And I was like, Ah, oh, thank you, Blizzard. You can't get this right now. It's exclusive. You can't have it, unless you're me. But I just don't. I hope it's infested with these little coal demon guys, because I need coal really badly. Like, if I could get, like, 400, 500 coal, that would make my life way easier. And doing it the way where I convert my limited quantity wood into coal is not doing it for me. I keep feeling like there's something I should be able to do with this right here, so that coal will fall out of it. But it never works. I've put bombs next to it. I've done all kinds of stuff with it. Still, this floor is a start. This floor is a definite start. A way down has been exposed, and it's actually right next to this ladder right here. I hope we find more coal monsters, because that's the whole point in why I came down here, was to kill coal monsters and get more coal so that I could make a selection of preserves jars, so I can start making jams and things of that nature, too. Refined products do appear to earn a lot of cash along the way. And so if we can diversify as far as we can with our farm, I definitely wouldn't turn it down. The more irons we have in the fire, the more chance we have to get burned, you know? A little bit of amethyst over there that I will probably pick up along the way too, although we are getting a little bit tired from going down into the dungeons, so we'll have to deal with that soon as well. Nothing down in here, really. All you can hope for is for further geode action. People had said that I can go through this, but... I don't think that you can. I think it just kind of looks like you can go that way. Maybe you can blow it open with a bomb or something. I also need to remember which floors have watering holes on them where I can fish for rare fish. I forgot about that little aspect of our fishing adventures, and it's going to take some doing. Nothing inside of that one, but we're almost out of time for the day anyways. Not for the episode. we got three or four minutes left for the episode. But I mean in terms of Stardew Valley's days here. Maybe it's only the little guys that give you coal. I thought it was the bigger ones that always gave you coal, but the little ones actually seem to have a better drop rate. That's cool, because these little dust monsters over here... Oh, those ones didn't drop anything for me. So how much... We spent an entire day in the dungeon just fiddling around with coal. We got 30 coal out. That's pretty good. I'd like to get two more so that I can make four of the preserves barrels. And then we'll just start dumping fruits in there. That's one of the main reasons why I've been holding so many fruits. Biggle Farmer, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. Okay, Dr. Light. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. Is your shirt made out of leaves? I just realized his shirt is, like, made out of leaves. I wanted to say sorry for uh, mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me very well, so I've learned to be cautious. 
But you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. And I consider you a good friend. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. Uh-oh. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. I was going to say from the sound effects there, that seemed like it wasn't going so well for us. Or maybe it was. I don't know what we want out of life. It's a top quality stuff. I'd eat it myself. Here, I want you to have the recipe. Cool. Wild bait. We've got a little bit of time to play with here. I might be able... Purple mushrooms are kind of hard to come by. Let me... I'm going to grab that quest while I'm down here. And I'm just going to hope that I can get a purple mushroom before it's over. We could use the 750 bucks. We could use the reputation. It's for a character that we haven't done a lot of reputation with yet. So, I think we would be remiss. I, it would be a mistake if we didn't go after that, at least. We're going to take a reputation hit if we don't get the quest done. But I know where to get purple mushrooms from. So, it shouldn't be too bad. And we might, if we get really lucky, have one inside the refrigerator. Which would then make it really, really easy to turn in. Assuming we can find Leia around somewhere. She has this tendency, I have trouble with Leia, she tends to disappear on me, so I'd probably just go wait by her house at the end of the night. It's 1am, but luckily we don't particularly have a lot of stuff to get done, so I'm not going to stress about it for right now. And what I mean by that is we're not going to get all of our energy back. If you don't go to sleep before, I think, 1, you don't get your energy back. A little bit of cash to be had. Not much, but something. Alright, so with what we have available, we got seven of those. Okay, it'll be alright. I've got an unusual request. Could you keep this a secret? I want you to deliver an amethyst to Emily. It's her favorite stone, and tell her it's from me. Okay, yeah, I've got amethyst laying around. I got an amethyst right there. Let me go ahead and grab all of that. My bees haven't been producing, so I assume the bees must only function in certain seasons. More than likely spring or something like that. I've got enough coal right now to where I can use six coal to smelt out whatever it is that I need at the moment. I would probably just go with gold. Since you can never quite have enough of that. Meanwhile. Let's see what we can get out of my inventory. I'm going to sell some stuff, then we'll go down, we'll deal with the chickens. I just need to get some of these things away from me right now. Yeah, that looks good. That'll give us a decent supply of... Oop, I forgot a topaz in there. There we go. And I needed to keep the amethyst for Emily. Which one is Emily? Okay. That's doable. On top of that, we have other little things that we need to be working on right now. I'm going to put those guys in there because I don't really have much of another option. we got more than enough stone to get started with some of our building projects. We've got a decent amount of hardwood. We just need to earn some money so that we can upgrade either the barn and get goats or we can upgrade the coop and we can get further chickens. doesn't really matter to me which way we go with it, but we're out of time for right now. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. I will see you all in future episodes. Bye, everybody.